morning. So initially we'll kick off with the uh, Easy Mount and Vogel's consumer products and then Cam will follow on uh, with professional commercial products. So Canome are based in Port Melbourne, so they're just a neighbour, they're down the road. Uh, they commenced business in the early 70s and uh, that was through having a, um, the, the owner of the business, it's a family owned business. Um, started with a hi-fi specialist store and then um, started importing brackets. So we do supply all the major retail groups with brackets. Um, Radio Parts is an integral part of our business and we cherish the relationship that we have with Radio Parts. Um, we recommend um, you know, of, we have often phone calls come to the office and we'll recommend those people come straight to Radio Parts to buy our products. So we try and work really closely with your team. Uh, we do home brand brackets for a few retail groups. Um, so that will be their entry level. And then we've got Easy Mount, which we have full design control over. Uh, we have a factory in China that all our product come from that factory and uh, we regularly get samples in, multiple samples if we're thinking the market needs. We're always being proactive about what the market needs. We'll get samples in, we'll scrutinise that head office at Canome. Um, we'll get together plus any of our sales team and then often installers. So a lot of thought goes into the Easy Mount brand. And then Vogels, we are the sole distributor for Vogels brackets here in Australia. So you are dealing directly with the distributor, no middleman. We also have other products like Minix Media, Media Players, Ergo, uh, Ergo Vida Furniture, so sit down, stand up desks, um, computer brackets, and um, then Sanjin Radios. So we prize ourselves on supporting our retail partners, um, albeit it could be through the phones, so that you pick up the phone, call Canome, uh, pretty much anyone that answers the phone will be able to assist you. Um, and then of course you've got Mike, Wilson, who's your um, rep that will obviously answer his mobile anytime you call and help you. So we, we are here to help. So we'll have three points to our agenda this morning. Um, why wall mount, what do you need and how to sell a bracket. So we've got some sort of newbies here that, that will really be a key part of the training for you. So why wall mount? Number one point is it looks better. It's very much on trend for clean lines, for minimalistic furniture, um, and I guess when you're talking inner Melbourne, you've got a lot of apartments, townhouses, units um, that are around here, and um, it could be your commercial customers that are fitting out hotels, motels, um, but it, it saves space and it's very much a premium look. So we are on trend, this category is on trend. <laughs> Uh, it works better, so I guess you're being able to optimise the viewing angle in any part of the room, albeit it could be just a room or an open plan situation. So um, maximising the viewing angles there. And it also lasts longer. So, you know, you might get tired of looking at your entertainment cabinet in five to ten years. Well, the bracket is really, its, it's timeline is endless. So, um, and safety is our number one key point here with lasting longer that when you're talking children and pets anyone in the home um, TV brackets are a very safe way to mount your TV if you've got a large TV on an entertainment cabinet you should really always use an anchoring strap anyway um, so with TV brackets that's not required uh, pretty much current affair does a does a segment on this every year about TVs falling on children it is a real thing and it's horrific to think that it does happen on a regular basis. Uh, that will be TVs coming off entertainment cabinets. Kids are maybe dancing to the wiggles or whatever and banging on the TV as they do. Um, so yeah, we are very much aware um, of safety issues with TV brackets and uh, with all our training this morning you'll understand why our brackets uh, safety is paramount. So our the catch cry for Vogels is for sure, which Cameron is proudly supporting that uh, catch cry there in his orange t-shirt this morning. So what do you need will be our next point on the agenda. 
So when it comes to your bracket, um, if I talk visa, is everyone aware what visa means? Yeah, so it's an internationally recognised whole pattern that all TV manufacturers adhere to and we make our brackets accordingly. So, so long as your TV, your customer says they have a 65, um, you know the whole pattern and you can Google that TV anyway if the customer doesn't have that information with them. Find out what the visa is and then the weight of the television. So our warranty, um, albeit it could be easy amount 10 years and 10 years for Vogels, so long as you are not exceeding the weight and you obviously match the visa um, mounting points, then you're good to go. Tools, I don't know how handy you are. Some people aren't at all, uh, which is interesting to say the least. I'm a little bit of a tomboy, but yeah, I pretty much would have all of that in my kit at home and have mounted plenty of TV, uh, TV brackets in my time. So very much a, uh, a capable drill, tape measure, spirit level, and a stud finder. A lot of people don't have a stud finder, but that's imperative because if you're putting three screws into a stud, you've got to get the centre part of that stud three times. And yeah, skills, as I said, so we, we may or may not personally have those skills. If you have an installer um, that you can reach out to, um, I guess that's the optimal way. Uh, but if you do choose to do it yourself, in our instructions within Easy Mount, they're very easy to follow. Uh, Vogels, in your instructions, we have a QR code which you can um, scan and it takes you to a live, to a video that you can actually learn how to mount your bracket that way. So whether you're someone that likes to read instructions or you're a visual person, um, we cater to both. So you've got to know what you're dealing with by way of most of our Australian homes are probably timber studs. Um, metal or steel studs rather is, is creeping in into Victoria. Um, other states, it could be double brick, it could be more steel, maybe WA is steel, um, Queensland for example. Um, but you certainly know what um, the customer's home is built with. So steel studs, we'd recommend a fixed bracket maybe spanning over the two studs. Timber, you've got more flexibility for um, an articulator bracket or a tilt. That's a good place to start when you're qualifying your customer. With the easy mount brackets, they are anywhere from two to three mil thick. The bracket in that photo there is capable of carrying a um, 100 inch TV. It's three mil, three gauge um, steel. Uh, the Vogels for its sleek lines and less steel involved in the engineering of the brackets, it's 0.6% carbonised steel. So you've got something that is stronger, yet more elegant and, and sleek. And that's how that's obtained with the carbonised steel. As we just talked about there, with the quality of our brackets, um, the fittings fixtures in the boxes. So our screw kits within Easy Mount, we did reduce those not too long ago, trying to keep, we don't want landfill, excessive landfill, but our screw kits are very thoughtfully put together that you've got the right washers, um, structural screws, um, and spaces, perhaps if you're needing, if you've got a, a curved back on the TV or something there that you've got to put a, a packer or a spacer, they're all included. Um, with the Vogels, we have these special plugs, which are a German um, invention back in the 1950s, um, Fisher plugs. So these are designed once you're, you've got your Fisher plug into the wall the, and you put your screw in, the, it will um, spread and anchor that screw into the wall, which is a far more secure way to mount weighty items. So well renowned, you mentioned that to um, any builder or installer that you have that comes into this business. Vogels have the Fisher plugs included in the box. That's a win-win. The credibility um, speaks mountains there. Um, the easy to install, all of our brackets have been thoughtfully designed and engineered for ease of installation. Um, we highlighted in the previous session that for a good quality bracket that someone may want the cheapest, 
but if it's an installation, it could be a hotel fit out, it could be 80 brackets that they're having to install. Um, you may save significant time in each room mounting a better quality bracket um, by way of not only just the installation goes smoothly, but that installer or even customer won't have to duck out to the shed or out to their van to get an extra part that wasn't included in the box. So um, you open a box and it's all there ready to go. No trips to Bunnings are required. Um, so this one here is a product that we'd really like for you guys to take on board this morning um, to focus on that um, and grow, I think, its, its presence in your sales spiels. But the VLM 5500 is at the front here. That spans over um, two studs and um, it has the correction at the front, which is three degrees. So you don't have to actually, if you've got it slightly um, off center, you don't have to remove the wall plates at all. You can actually adjust it at the front, which is gold. Same for the Vogels as well. So we talked about, this is how the Fisher plugs are utilized in brick. Well, that's concrete brick and then your plaster stud situation. So anchoring that screw firmly three times into that wall space. With our brackets, the ease of installation is, um, is even noted, I guess, if you're talking a home brand. Um, once again, this could be a trip to Bunnings, but to anchor your vertical rails to the wall plate. You can see in this photo here, there's probably a Phillips screw somewhere in here, and that's the only thing that's holding the vertical rails onto the wall plate. That's all it is. But your standard screwdriver can't even reach. So, yep, that's, that's a trip to Bunnings right there. Mm. So your average Joe probably doesn't have, I don't have that in my kit. So once again, frustration, you don't experience that with any of ours. Um, probably just to mention too, the VPF80 is our number one selling bracket, um, which I'll come to a slide about that. And that's commercial purposes for the fact, safety, security, anchoring the vertical rails onto the wall plate um, yeah, is, is, is easily achieved. Start adapter, this is something that we brought to our range about two years ago. Uh, with the trend of TVs becoming bigger and bigger and people wanting to do crazy things in their homes with 82 inch um, screens, apart from pulling off your plaster and reinforcing your studs, um, we, we had to be forward focused and think how are we going to achieve to overcome that rather um, at the forefront of sales. So the stud adapter is about $149. Um, it's designed to span across the two studs. It's 640 mil wide, 410 high. It's designed as well here. This can be um, increased or lowered if need be. And this centre pole here, the vertical post can be moved left and right. So if centralisation in the room because you've got a window and a buffet and a painting um, and visually you'd like it 150 mil to the left, that is achievable for a single arm bracket. I think it fits all consumer Vogels articulated except yeah. for signature if I remember yeah, yeah, yeah. So all comfort and elite articulator brackets. So this is gold. Have this in your repertoire. Um, and if, you know, 65 inch is perfectly fine on a single stud. But if you're talking 72, 77, 82, you're going to want to introduce a stud, a stud adapter. They can be painted as well. It's sort of like a, um, a charcoal, like this colour here, charcoal grey. Um, you can just get a metal paint, um, you know, a spray can even, and, and spray it if need be to match your wall colour. So that's gold, this product. We love it. So types of brackets. Um, we've got, as I said, the VPF80, which is our number one selling bracket. Then we have Comfort and Elite in fixed. The Tilt. So in a Melbourne or areas that have older homes, it could have a heritage overlay to them that are dealing with fireplaces and mantles in rooms that they can't remove 
there'll be non-working fireplaces perhaps, it can limit where you want to put the TV or where you can put the TV. So a tilt bracket, if it's going at a height, um, having that, that tilt of 15 degrees is, is more comfortable yeah, to view. And then your full motion. So we have full motion from um, your Comfort and Elite and then your Easy Mount as well. So fixed, um, the VPF80 as I said is this bracket over here, the back. And it has your locking rail here. So once you've got your wall plate mounted, these are on the back of your TV. This can be slid in the back here, locked into place, and you can put a padlock. So it's ideal for commercial purposes. Um, you could put a cable tie as well if you needed to. But, so you know that that's anchored to the wall safely for children and, and uh, adults. Uh, also, with the wall plate being as wide as it is, when you need to move your TV slightly left or right, you know, 100 mils this way, 150 that way, cheaper home brands, you can't obtain that because really where your studs are is you're going to dictate exactly where the TV sits. There's no wriggle room. So you can see this in a home brand bracket that is in a major retailer. So as soon as you talk about, don't, don't worry about overcoming, I want the cheapest bracket, ask them what size is the TV. Do you know exactly where your studs are? Well, a cheap bracket, the smaller the wall plate, that absolutely dictates where that panel's got to go. Um, the other thing here is we have perfect um, sizes here for your antenna point could fit here, power point there. Um, other home brands, cheaper models on the market, you know, that's what your power point could look like, which means your bracket might not sit flat properly and it's going to stick out on one side or how do you combat that? So it just gets messy. And then we talked about the padlock there as well. So in your Vogels, the fixed range, we have um, click lock, which is um, obviously anchoring um, for safety. And then we uh, other models, we have a spring release, but it's audible. So once you're actually clicking that bracket onto your wall plate, it's an audible click, so you know it's secure and safe. So the Comfort is our entry level in the Vogels. Um, we love this. You've got a hundred uh, bracket there that goes up to a hundred mil, uh, sorry, hundred inch TVs, and it's 22 mil off the wall. So if you're talking an OLED or a QLED, um, you want to get as snug as you can to the wall. We're starting here with 22 mils. You've got your built-in spirit level, high gloss wall plate that covers the screws once you've got that mounted into your studs. Um, you've got your click lock safety. On this area here, which is your rails, your vertical rails, there's um, rubber covers, so at no stage is your wall being damaged from the rails. And then, it's a one-man job, which is amazing. So you've got your wall plate on, you've hung your TV. Before you click that in for safety, it's got a little foot that can pop out there down the bottom here. It's got two little feet that will flick down, and then you can just hop in and put your HDMIs and then you just flick that up, push it against the wall and just little gentle push on either side of the panel and it clicks in and audibly you can hear that and it's locked and it's, it's secured. One man job, it's a really clever bracket. About $149. Then we go to the Elite. The Elite is 15 mil off the wall. So it's even more snug, more sexy for your OLEDs and QLEDs. So obviously installation job because you want everything recessed into the wall. Um, similarly, it's got your um, spirit level, the elegant wall cover plate to hide all the screws, nuts and bolts, and then you've got your cable management. So obtain that 15 mil snugness to the wall. Everything is perfectly laid inside of the actual bracket itself. This is a fairly new bracket. Great for commercial. It's up to 90 inch TVs. It's got the ability to move left and right five degrees. Once again, for connectivity of all your cables. This could be a pub or a club or a, you know, uh, a bar that's putting in a TV to, for the 
watch the footy or something. So um, yeah, we're really proud of that bracket. That's really getting its legs on. We're selling yeah that every month. Um, that's growing. Then we've got the tilt, as we talked about, for above fireplaces or mantles or bedrooms. This one here is really elegant. You can see with the arms here on the lower part of the vertical rails, once the TV is tilted forward, it looks like it's free floating. So you don't see any ugliness down the back of the wall, particularly if you're walking in and out of a room and you, instead of just seeing down the side of the, you know, the, the, uh, the rear of the TV, it looks like it's floating. So very elegant. And they've got your quick release tabs down the bottom for the click lock. Then we go into full motion. Uh, this is the 5500 again on the table just here. 670 mil wall plate, 70 kilos. This is really robust. However, it does move in and out nicely. You don't have to put your knee in it. There's not too much, you know, force that's required. Enough, but not too much. And you've got your three degree screen levelling at the front. So if you do have it slightly out of whack at the front there and if you're sitting back going, oh no, I just want it, you can. So you've got three degrees to, to move that at, at the front of the bracket. Here's a little video to show exactly the bracket being able to be moved within the wall plate area, left and right, again, to help with centralisation. Life changing, very simple. Great for recessed cavities as well, inset plaster cavities. This is the Vogel's packaging, uh, just to show how beautifully it's presented. It is quite the experience, you open it up. It is premium, it screams premium. And um, beautifully laid out, very thoughtful. It's got your instruction card there, which has the QR code, takes you to the videos of how to install. It's a very user friendly. It's got the template there for pre-drilling as well and we're 99% uh, recyclable now, so environmentally friendly. So being very, very thoughtful in that space. So in your full motion for Vogels, we have the Comfort, and then we'll go to the Elite. We've got small, medium, and large. You can see the screen sizes there. Uh, these ones here are 59 millimeters off the wall. So when the bracket is recessed back, 59 mil off the wall. Uh, they all come in white as well. So if you're having your bracket and you're in a very clean, white sort of environment, maybe that's a very neutral uh, um, colour tone, colour palette in your home, and your bracket's going to be extended, often that's, that's a big draw card to buy Vogels because they'll say, well, actually, yeah, we will see that black arm all the time, and they would prefer to see white. So that can sometimes switch you from an easy mount Say, well, would a white bracket be of interest to you? Oh, yes, it would. Well, actually, in Vogels, we've got white. So this is the OLED bracket that we have in two sizes, 65 and then up to 77. With the 77, you may wish to use the stud adapter again. That would work well with this product. So with the uh, Visa points being lower in an OLED, in a traditional bracket, you may see the rails, see the, the top bit there sticking up. It equally would be sticking down the bottom, so you don't get that with a specific OLED bracket. And I think for the pressure points, it's, it's better as well. Uh, so this is the Elite. So the Elite is um, closer to the wall. That is 40 mil. Thank you. Um, yeah, 40 mil closer to the wall. So again, if you've got an elegant TV, this is the way to go. So we've got three models here. We've got two that have your single stud mount, and then there's another one at the top end, which has uh, a wider wall plate. So built-in spirit level, elegant tilt as well. So that's the larger, that's the 5645. And this is the large one, so up to 100 inch, and that's got your double wall plate. So you're actually needing um, dual studs and be screwing into that six times. 
So if you're using the stud adapter for that, we have an additional rail that's required. So you are actually yeah, having two side-by-side -side vertical rails to mount that too. Big thing to note, the, the smooth one finger movement. So if you are selling to an older demographic, uh, and they're you know, bigger TVs, then the Vogels is a much better solution for them to be able to manoeuvre their TV because they can do it without any effort. That's just some extra points there. And then we go into your signature, which we, you do have a signature uh, bracket on your display board with the remote control, so do feel free to, to show customers that. Um, it is a beautiful product and um, I guess it's like keeping up with the Joneses, those that love the, the best of the best and um, it's uh, probably one, we do have a, a manual model but I think the, if you're going to go this way you'd probably go the motorised. Um, so you can download an app so each family member on their smartphone or tablet you can download the app and then you can actually pre-program. Um, you know, perhaps you've got dad spot, you, you know, turn the TV on and the power just by the, the turning the TV on um, with the TV remote, the TV will know you can have a default position and it will move straight to that number one position and then you can go, you know, dad will be sitting on the couch, well I'm here so I want it on my, my spot so the TV will instantly go to his position on the couch. Could be someone over that way at the dining table, it could be mum in the kitchen. Um, so very clever that way. Also to using Siri, you can do voice control, voice commands. So that's a good way to show off to your guests, isn't it? And you've got, um, yeah, the free motion mount app is actually how you program all those settings. And then of course we've got the professional, uh, which is good for home automation systems. So that can actually be programmed into the home automation. That's the next model above the one you've got on display. Yeah. So it's got RS-232 and 485 control. So if you've got a control four system, for example, then you can integrate it that way. So, yeah. So this shows, getting back to Cam's point before about um, the ease, you know, one finger movement with the Vogels. This shows with an isometric meter, the force that's required with some home brand brackets that are on the market today. It's definitely put your knee in, it's get your foot in to move that bracket. You'll damage your television for sure. Oh, so. Yeah. Mm. In the case of walls, because they come in so unevenly, they'll hit a corner first, hit that wall off you. Mm. So yep. It doesn't take much to do with wall and you pay for a better bracket. So you can see the Newton metres, you know, between what a, an average male, 350 Newton metres just to move that bracket. This is a Vogels. So this has 55 kilos mounted on the front of that bracket. This is your average stud in an Australian home. Just the, the fluidity in the movement. And the stud's perfectly fine. Mm. And all our brackets are actually tested um, to carry three times the amount than what is stated on the box. So it's good assurance. It's an insurance policy. Mm. So, as we said, with the warranty, so long as you stick within the visa and the weight, though, you know that the warranty of 10 years will be honoured. So qualifying, probably asking open questions, you know, does the customer have down lights? Well, a bracket that has a bit of a tilt, the VPF80 has eight, that could be fixed or could be eight degree tilt. Eight degree tilt with down lights in your room is life changing. It just helps to take the light reflections off the TV. So do ask them, you know, how big is the room? Do you wish to be able to view the TV from this angle, that angle? The more open questions you ask, you're going to get away from that horrible, I just want the cheapest. Don't make the conversation about the price. There's no need to. Mm. What type of bracket? Obviously, that's the conversations you're having about steel frame, um, timber frame. And then the, the tools and skills. So, you know, do they intend to mount it themselves? Um, or you can put them in contact with one of your installers. So network with your installers. Um, create a little bit of a database of those installers that you know are readily available, um, that are trustworthy, and um, brands to make sure that you've got the information relevant here to Australia. 
So we're here to help, we want to work with you. But uh, yeah, Brackets is where it's at and um, we, we'd love to obviously assist you in any way we can. Thank you for your time. And that concludes my part of the presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Any questions for Emma while we're... There is a, um, on the website still, um, can for, um, yeah. if you know your TV, you can punch it in and it'll give you the options of what the best markets are? So yeah, so oh, there's, the there's a consumer mm. version of that on the CE website. It's called the flat screen fitter. So you can put in the consumer model number and it'll give you the recommended Vogels mounts to suit. But then on the commercial side, which I'll get into in this presentation, is there's a very um, thorough version of that as well for commercial brackets. Let me just plug in my um, mm. presenter. Just one question. Would you recommend installers to install it rather than just the home handyman? Or? Well, I guess to give them the choice. Ultimately, yeah, it, it should be their choice. But, yeah. It's, well, it's if you're relative and you can find a stud, yeah. they're not hard to do. Mm. But you know, everybody knows their limits. And yeah. if, you, if you don't know your limits, you're going to do it. But, um, mm. so, um, I think in most cases, yeah, especially the better brackets like the yes. labels, yeah, they got all the tools there other than the drill and all yeah. that. So. Someone that's you know relatively handy, um, slightly to relatively handy, can do it within 30 minutes, for sure. I mean, I... I mounted a 43-inch sure. Sony, for sure. For sure. Um, uh, I mounted a 43 Sony in the bedroom last winter and um, my fiancé was away and I thought, oh, I'm going to do this and surprise him. And he was like, well, you did that by yourself. Well, yeah, because I've done it for 24 years. <laughs> I should be able to. But they're not hard. And yeah. it is, everything's there. You just, yeah. you so don't, yeah. Everything in the consumer series is designed for anyone to basically do it. So there's... There's a heap of different things. As you can see, there's, as uh, Emma was talking about earlier, there's the uh, template, there's QR codes. There's even a really cool, uh, oh, I've forgotten the name, but Mount My TV app, I think it's called. But essentially, you mount that onto the wall and using uh, augmented reality, it shows you where you need to put your, your drill bits and everything as well. So it's, it is designed for the home handyman, but it's really going to come down to how handy that person is. It's probably the biggest thing about it. Mm. So we can yeah. go through and, you know, please feel free to, um, yeah, come and, and check out the display models that we've got, um, yeah, after Cam's presentation. Mm. Thanks, Cam. Uh, one more thing with the Signature Series. One really nifty solution Vogels developed with that many, many years ago is called the Screen Protection System. So up to a certain screen size, the mechanism is designed that the screen will never hit the wall. So, for example, a 65 inch, you put it on the manual signature, you could pull that in and out as many times as you want, and it should never hit the wall. We actually sold, because of that feature alone, we sold two, three hundred of those to a nursing home because they know it's going to protect the TV and protect the wall. So they spent a little bit more, but the long-term benefit was huge. So little, little features like that Vogel's built into it. So moving on to Vogel's Professional. So this is another, another division within Vogel's. It's been around for about 25 years now uh, and actually is in some countries actually bigger than their consumer range. Uh, Australia is actually one of those. We sell more of our commercial product than we do the consumer product, which is great. Uh, I am Cameron. So I actually run our custom and commercial division. Uh, so all the product I'm gonna show you today, I'm the product manager for all of that. So if I don't know it, then it's not worth knowing, no. Uh, Vogels itself, uh, the company, some of their pillars in whenever they're developing products is the design. It's a Dutch company. You know, as we know, design and Dutch are just go hand in hand. And that comes from a couple of different aspects. Design on how it looks, as Emma has shown you already with the consumer series, but also how easy it is to install. Because commercially, if you're installing 300 ceiling mounts, if you can save an hour per ceiling mount, that's a significant labour saving in the long run. So yes, our products can be a little bit more expensive, but if you look at the overall picture, uh, you should end up saving money using a better pro product. That's the biggest thing to remember. You know, very much leaning into the uh, environmental uh, aspects of brackets these days, they're designed to last. 
you don't need to replace them every time. They're all designed around the visa fitment, et cetera. But also the packaging now is all moving into the cardboard packaging and fully recyclable packaging. So making uh, that environmental uh, imprint there. Uh, the best materials, so a lot of the products I'm going to talk to you today about are extruded aluminium. So it's all produced in, in Germany. Uh, it's super light, but also very, very strong. It doesn't bend, doesn't twist, any of that at all. Uh, strong and safe. So Emma mentioned it before with the, the consumer range for Vogels. They're all what's called TUV certified. So that's a very expensive and very stringent German certification. In the consumer, it's three times, but in commercial, they actually take it up to five times. So how they do that is they mount a bracket on the wall, for example, and just keep applying pressure. And then they get it to the point where the bracket might boom, deform slightly. And then they'll stop the test, and then whatever rating is, weight category is written on the machine, they'll then divide that by five, and that's how they get the weight rating on the bracket. Doesn't mean you can put a 500 kilo t thing on a 100 kilo bracket, but what it gives you and your client is peace of mind. Install correctly, it's not going anywhere. Uh, and then, uh, you know, easy to install, going back to that point before, you can be much quicker to install our products than cheaper alternatives. Uh, and then great service and support by Canom. We've always been customer service orientated. You know, anyone can answer the phone at the office and pretty much answer your question. So, as mentioned, Vogels is a Dutch company. They're based in Eindhoven in the Netherlands. They've got over 270 employees worldwide. Uh, they actually uh, have the largest product development center for manning solutions in Europe. So it's only half an hour away. They've got a big team there, a great warehouse, which has got all full of testing jiggers. It's pretty cool to go visit, actually. It's good fun. Uh, worldwide distribution network, including Canome and you know, we've been partners with them for over 35 years now. So it's a very, very strong relationship. Uh, and going back to that quality and safety first, it's all about that. Because a ceiling mount might go into a shopping center uh, and you don't want that failing. Yeah, it's a lot of liability there. We have almost a solution for any market segment. So whether it's hospitality, corporate, retail, stadiums, you name it, education, we've almost got a solution for it. Uh, what we actually find in the commercial side of things is that all of our products get used in all aspects of jobs. So whether it's Easy Mount or Vogel's Consumer or Vogel's Professional, it's going into an office building, they might use it all. Uh, versus Consumer, you probably wouldn't put a trolley into your, into your bedroom, but that's you know entirely personal preference. So you know just because it's a commercial job doesn't mean you have to stick with the Vogel's commercial range. You've got the whole catalogue for all of our products available to you, which is great. Here's a small snapshot, you know, whether it be displays, projectors, LED, or even tablets or computer monitors, we've got pretty much a solution for all of it. Uh, the biggest one from Vogel's over the years has been connected. This was a product developed by them 12 years ago now. Uh, based on the PFB bar, which is these ones here, and then the interface strips, as you can see along the bottom here. So that is designed around the visa. So if you've got a 200 by 200 visa or an 1100 by 1100 visa screen, Vogels will fit. And you can choose the right element so it doesn't look too weird at the back of the screen. Uh, the beautiful thing about this, it's really simple. So those, once that bar's installed onto the wall or onto a pole, the strip, which mounts to the back of the screen, once you hook it onto the, the PFB bar, you'll hear that audible click, uh, like with our consumer series, and you know you can let go, stand back, and it's installed. It's very, very simple. Ceiling mounts. Ceiling mounts, uh, you know, probably the, the pillar of our, what we sell the most, uh, because it looks great, it's strong, you can do multiple things with it. And you'll get this thing with, with the connected series is that it's not just for one TV. You can have, you know, a video wall mounted from the ceiling. You can have screens back to back, portrait or landscape, you name it, you can have it. As you can see with some of the examples here. But this video is a really good way of explaining it, uh, of how it installs. 
you actually have a variety of different ceiling plates, but the basic one you mount to the ceiling, the pole goes in and there's just a single pin that holds that in position. The PFB bar, as you can see, can slide up the pole and that can go anywhere along the pole. And then once you mount your interface strips, you click it on, simple. You've got up to 20 degree tilt if you want to. You can even lock that off with a padlock, optional padlock. There are a variety of different accessories which I'll show you in a minute. Let's say you're using digital signage, their shop window for example, no problems, mounted in portrait. Same, pretty much the same components, just mounting it in a different orientation. Or you want to mount a camera, a DVD player, whatever it might be, you want to mount, you know, even a wireless access point, you can mount that to a shelf, for example. And there's, as I said, there's a host of different accessories available here. Back to back, portrait or landscape, no problem. Just using, you know, one pole, there's not two poles mounted back to back. If you've got extra large screens, so anything over a 65, then you use a dual pole setup for strength and stability. And then from there, once you do that, you can start putting multiple screens on. You can join the bars. So you can have a bar from here to Sydney if you wanted it that long. You just keep joining them. No problems. So ceiling mounted, floor to ceiling mounted. We do a lot of floor to ceiling in banks at the moment. So in the shop windows. And you can just keep joining them on, no problems. So here's just some of the accessories available, whether it be white inserts or white trim. So for example, if you're going into a ceiling like this, a white trim, white trims down the poles. We've got uh, the bar couplers, pole couplers, uh, locks. We've even got a column clamp, actually. I forgot to mention this last time. So this is good. So if you've got a round column, obviously they're structural. We can't screw into it. So we actually have a column mount. So that just wraps around the column and then you can mount your TVs onto it from there. Uh, there's uh, uh, stabilization kits. So we can join a maximum of two poles. So if you're doing that, then we strongly suggest a stabilization kit. You know, we've got media mounts. So a little media box can mount onto the back of it. Then we have our 24 series. So this is a round pole solution, it's 51 mil in diameter. Uh, this is designed for up to 65 inch screens. The biggest advantage of this is it actually comes with a ceiling plate that can rotate up to 90 degrees. So you could mount it onto the side here if you wanted to and then have the pole hanging down. Again, all about ease of installation. So the ceiling plate itself, you can actually mount the plate onto the ceiling first. And let's say you've got a three meter pole. There's a little uh, bracket that mounts to the top of the pole. You literally just hook it into the ceiling plate and you can actually let go. From there, you can go up and then go tighten all the screws and what you need to from there. A really, uh, really flexible little solution and do anything from 100 by 100 visa up to 600 by 400 visa. Using connected still, this is all part of the connected series, floor stands, trolleys, bolt to the floor, video walls, you name it, it can be done pretty much, which is great. As we like to say, limited, uh, limited SKUs, but unlimited possibilities. Uh, so whether it be bolt to the floor or freestanding, however you want to do it, yeah, we can easily, easily accommodate it. And again, a wide array of accessories available for the floor stands. And a lot of these are compatible with the ceiling mounts and so on and so forth. So whether it be a VC camera holder or speaker holder or lockable cabinet or a laptop shelf or, uh, you know, heavy duty wheels because they're going over really rough surfaces. I will say the wheels that are included on the connected system is extremely heavy duty as it is. They roll beautifully over any surface, but in case you've got really rough surface, and I'd go the heavy duty ones. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of different accessories. Going back to the ceiling mount, we even have a I-beam adapter. So a lot of I-beams, again, structural, you can't screw through them. You can put a clamp on there and then the ceiling plate will attach to that there from there. Rear covers, another big one at the, for banks at the moment, portrait landscape, and they'll do up to 86 inch screens. 
So just so when they're in the front window and you can see from behind, you just don't see all the stuff and fingers are less likely to go play around with it. This is a really neat little accessory mount. So this mounts to our PFB bar. It actually just hooks on, you just hook it onto the bar, but it enables you to cable tie media boxes and the like to it. So it just hooks on. You, whilst, you, know, you can then connect your media box, your media player, whatever it is, and then the TV goes over the front of it and it's hidden nicely. If you've got more than one accessory, we have the, the, the adapter for that called the 9166. So it then attaches to the 9165 and gives you the ability to mount more devices behind the screen and acts as a bit of a cover for the rear of it as well. And that can be used on wall mounts as well as a ceiling mounts, trolleys, floor stands. So yeah, flexibility there. But unfortunately with Connect It, there is a thousand and one different SKUs to make up a solution. Uh, for example, a ceiling mount has four SKUs to complete it. So you have a ceiling plate, pole, interface, bar and strip. Now, the amount of times we get an order for three items, not four, we have to confirm that they've already got the other part or they actually need it. But to make life a bit easier, Vogel's actually created a range of kits. So for example, a C3044. That's, the C stands for ceiling, 3O is three meter drop, and the 44 stands for 400 by 400 visa. So it's it, we try to simplify it. You order that code, you'll get four boxes, everything you need to complete it. Because the last thing is you wanna get an installer or a ceiling mount and forget a part and he's out on site at 2 a.m. and can't complete it. That's uh, not gonna go down very well. So the kits are a really good, um, really easy sales point for you. Uh, and same with trolleys. So for example, an FD1864. FD, floor, floor mount, D for double pole, the 1.8, 1 1.8 1 metre, the 6.4, 600 by 400. We don't carry the silver, we only carry stock. We can get silver if someone really wants it, it's just a lead time, that's all. Connected can then also be used for video walls, whether it be wall mounted or as you saw on different poles. So we've got various options here and you can get again, almost any video wall from a 1 by 2 to a 10 by 10. It's entirely up to the client what they need. The beautiful thing with this is the interface strip that comes with it has all the adjustments to make sure the screens are all flat. So on the top of the bracket, each arm, you can, you can actually do vertical adjustment. You can do top in and out and then bottom in and out as well. So just so make sure your screen is perfectly flat with everything else. they have got a service mode. You can even put a lock on them if you want to, just to lock it in. No one does, but it's there. And then you can do, put those video wall mounts onto floor stands and trolleys. So you could have a nine by three video wall on a trolley. So that's a big wall. Uh, 29 series is our latest pole mount series. So this has a much stronger profile. The extrusion on this is significant. Uh, I would, should mention all the black poles are anodized black, so they're less likely to scratch. It's so great for the rental market because they're a bit rough, uh, quick and easy to install, and they they can be uh, you don't have to repaint them every time you use them. Uh, but the 29 series, black only, it has a much stronger profile. Each pole can take two times 336 kilos, so it's significantly stronger. Uh, the poles themselves will do up to 3.3. You can join them to have 6.6 .6 meters. Uh, so. Again, you've got a wide uh, variety of options available to you. And here's some of the examples. So, connect it, mount it to the, to the ceiling, uh, to the wall, sorry. Interface strips mount to the screen. Just clicks on and then you just add them as you need to and adjust as you need to. But you can then take that off if you wanted to using everything else you've already mounted and ban it to a trolley. So you just need to add the poles and the, the base plates from there. Or put it on a floor stand. Or you could even bolt that to the floor if you wanted to. You can join them, keep adding it again. You could have it from here to, you know, Footscray long if you wanted to. Endless possibilities. There you go, take it off, mount it to the floor. 
So, in, and in case the walls are, you know, not structural enough, then at least all the weight's taken on the ground, but then you can brace it to the back wall just to stop any movement in the wall. Or if you can't touch the wall at all, or say it's glass, floor to ceiling. Yeah. But then from there, probably the next thing from, uh, in regards to displays is LED. So LED is going to be the, the big thing for, especially for, for anything bigger than a two by two sort of display. Uh, you can have a wall in any shape and size. And it's a really tricky thing, LED, because they don't follow the Visa standard. So we don't know where the mounting points are. So it's a little bit trickier to do. So we've had a 90% off the shelf solution up until now, but up, we've just released the new DV LED system. So this is actually a universal uh, LED system. So if anyone comes to you saying, I need to put mount an LED wall, this is what you want to look at. So this is completely off the shelf. We will stock this come end of July and it's customizable to any LED size. It has brackets which are adjustable in depth. We've got 40 mil adjustment, so in case the wall's not perfectly level, which is a lot of the time. Uh, you've got the ability to actually extend the bars as well. You fine tune adjustment as well. So extend the bars as well with a special mechanism. That way you don't need to cut it because there's the aluminium. You don't want little metal filings in the carpet or anything like that. Really simple to install. These mounting bolts, once they mount to the LED tile, you just literally hook them in. And then just pull it along. So it makes it really simple, which is unheard of. And then from there, again, you can put on the wall, you can put it on a trolley, you can put it on a floor to ceiling. We it can even do curved video walls. So if you need that, that's definitely a possibility as well. Rise is our new range of trolleys so and floor stands. So Rise is relatively new. These will take up to a 98 inch now. Uh, the beautiful thing about these is that you, they can rise to the occasion and have them at the right height depending on who's using it. So whether it's a, a school scenario or even boardroom scenario, not everyone's the same height. So with Rise, they've got a really quick adjustment on them to have them right down low or quite tall. 980 mils of movement, that's a lot. Uh, they come in two different speeds, 50 mils per second or 80 mils per second. Uh, and the 80 mils is actually twice as quick than any other competing uh, motorized trolley and floor stand. So that means you can get the screen to height quickly and just move on with your day. Simple as that. Uh, Anti-collision, so, you know, if someone child's underneath it, they're not going to get squashed easily. I mean, you have to hold the button for these to move. You can't press a button and walk away. It's all about safety, so you have to hold the button. So if you do get to the point you're colliding into someone, then maybe... Don't let that person operate it, be my thing. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, it's a sustainable in design and engineering, so all the packaging's recyclable. So if you're doing a major trolley fit out, at least you know you can just put all the packaging in the recycle bin. Uh, so some, some key features, uh, the quick height adjustment on there, heavy duty casters, at top down assembly makes life a lot easier. Uh, you've got the click lock system like on the consumer series, uh, integrated cable management, but also a huge range of accessories. So whether it be soundbar mounts, camera mounts, laptop shelves, uh, we even have some really cool whiteboard adapters for them. So you actually buy these in a 65, 75 or 86 inch size and you get basically double-sided whiteboards. And the cool thing with them is they can fold over the front of the screen to protect the screen, and then you can keep uh, whiteboarding on the when it's closed as well. Uh, there's also a um, uh, education-focused one, which has some dumbed-down features, I suppose. So it doesn't have as much height adjustment range. It's only 720, 700. It's only available in the 50 mil, slightly different base, uh, but 
it's you know it's more price sensitive than the traditional series of rise. And here's some scenarios for education. So as you can see the whiteboard adapters being used there. Uh, a floor to wall, which I'm uh, speaking to Leon about maybe putting here. Maybe, we'll see. That's one. So it's okay, perfect for education, but even corporate as well. Because as I said, not everyone's the same height. You're doing presentations, you've got a bigger boardroom, you can lift the TV up high so everyone in the room can see it, see the screen more clearly. Really good video here showing the the series. So rise to the occasion, as they like to say. So no EPS in the packaging. See how quickly it installs? Yeah. So yet again, tested a whole five times the stated weight for safety, so they're super strong. Flexible up to 98 inch now, as I said. We even have the ability that it, we can have uh, installers program certain heights in them, so they can't go past certain heights if they need to. That is definitely a possibility. Uh, rise cable management, actually quite large when you've got an 86 inch on it and it goes up maximum height it's, it's a really tall display it's actually developed and engineered in-house from Vogels which is unusual for a motorized product for them so they actually made sure it was very durable you know 30,000 cycles here's a whiteboard sets Camera mount, laptop mount, soundbar mount. Hidden storage on the back, so you can hide a mini PC or something in there if you need to. A Minix, for example. Yeah, as you can see the button at the base here, those are what you use to, to manoeuvre it. So it's just up and down, very, very simple. So that's Rise, available in black or white for the wall mounted version. We also have a great range of commercial wall mounts, so available for anything from a 40 to a 120 inch screen, essentially, uh, 1200 by 800 Visa and the big ones. So that's some really neat features like uh, the, they have post installation leveling, so just a screw at the top, you, you mount it, you can get your screen perfectly level. They even have the service mode, so you can pull the bottom of the screen out at any time to get into the back, but it's always locked onto the wall plate and the only way you can undo it is with a key. Uh, but even little things like the bolts that are included in these, they are tapered just underneath the head. So when you're tightening them onto the back of the screen, it's that last turn central to the, to the uh, screen. So that way, if you are mul mounting multiples in a row, you know they're all gonna be at the right height. Little features like that. Um, yeah, a really good bracket. Not too badly priced either, the 6800. Uh, we'll do up to an 85 inch screen. It's got nice wide wall plate, 800 wide wall plate. So a good alternative to, for something a bit more industrial. And they're only 35 mil flat. So yeah, I'll go into the video. Then you go into our X, XL size brackets. So these are really heavy duty brackets. So the example is the second one from the left there, the PFW6855. That's capable of holding 226 kilos, and you can rotate it between portrait and landscape on the fly. So you can just walk up to the screen and rotate it full 90 degrees if you need to. It's extremely heavy duty, all of these. We sell a lot of them for education, so universities, because they put a big screens up, but also a lot of equipment they mount to it as well. So significant. We also have this one here, this PFW6858, which is perfect for, say, the Samsung Flip. So you can actually grab it and rotate it 90 degrees on the fly. And that you can actually mount to our connector trolleys as well, which is kind of cool. Uh, pop-out brackets. So we have individual pop-out brackets for video walls. With these, you just lightly press on the screen. The screen comes straight forward. 
for servicing. All your adjustments are on top, so yet again, ease of installation, uh, and you can do any configuration of video wall. And then we have our latest pop-out bracket, this one here, the connected pop-out bracket. So this is actually designed to either mount onto the wall, mount onto our PFB bar on the wall, or onto a floor to ceiling video wall. So you could have yet again a five by five video wall mounted floor to ceiling and have each screen pop out if you need it. So it's really handy. And projector mounts, uh, been very popular over the years, I think declining slowly, uh, but some, you know, you still can't get the same bang for buck for size than a projector. So we have two different sizes, a 20 and a 30 kilogram projector. And each of those come in either a height adjustable model, a fixed height model. And on the fixed height models, you can actually add a projector cage to it from us as well. So here's the, the projector height adjustable models. And actually one thing we don't talk about enough is we actually do have projector lifts as well. So these are developed as, from the, the partnership from Vogels and another Dutch company who they eventually bought out. Uh, but we have four models here in, in varying degree of uh, drops with the tallest one that can drop five meters. Uh, and it comes in a box about yay big, it's a significant box. But it's, they're very strong, they all come with a wall switch, but then we have a range of accessories for them as well, such as IR and RF and um, 12 volt triggers, but even as a ceiling tile. So if you've got a ceiling like this, it's a 600 by 600, you can have completely invisible and then the projector will drop out. Who here has used the Pro-V Mount Advisor? Ah, oh, come on. So I'll, I'll show you here actually, I've got uh, Emma's laptop set up briefly. So the good thing is with this, is this touchscreen Emma? Okay. Uh, is This is a Vogels Pro website. So you just find at the top here the words Pro-V Mount Advisor when I can find the actual, where's the, there it is. So Pro-V Mount Advisor and then Highly recommend bookmarking this part of the website. Can you all see that all right? So from here, you then choose what you need. So display, LED, projector, tablet, etc. So we'll use display for an example. So you click on display, then you scroll down, and then you actually type in the model number of the display. So I'll just go X554, I don't think it's an NEC. Just use that as an example. It should already be in their database. So it's automatically come up, it's 55 inch, it's 28 kilos, 400 by 400 visa. I'm gonna mount it in portrait, for example, and then just follow the on-screen instructions. So next, what type of wall mount do I want? I'm gonna go with the, a wall mount in this case. I'm gonna then choose a video wall. Let's, let's do a video wall. All right, let's, now it's asking for configuration. How many wide? Okay, who's going to throw out a number to me? Any number. One and 20. Pick one. 12. There we go. There's 12. And then let's go. How many vertical? Pick a number. Anyone? Eight. eight. There we go. 12 by eight. So that's a nice, nice size video wall. But to actually configure it might take us all a bit of time manually. The good thing is with this is let's say it's going non recess So it's going flat on a wall. Uh, we don't need it to pop out. We're going to go fixed. And then from there, okay, it's given us the option of connect it, our flexible connected system. So right now, to make a 12, what was it, 12 by 8, I need eight 3-meter interface bars. I join eight 2.7-meter bars to those, as well as eight 1.9-meter bars, and then I need 96 interfaces. So there you go, done. That's it, simple as that. And you can actually go back, like for example, if you, okay, we'll actually need it to pop out. You can actually then go, rather than starting again, you can actually go, just clicking one of these at the top. Okay, I actually do want it to pop out now. So click pop out and then it'll tell you, okay, well these are my two options. Okay, I now need 96 pop out brackets. It'll do the same for standard ceiling mounts and trolleys and floor stands. There is a limit to it though, uh, not a limit to the product, it's a limit to basically the liability. So if you need a three by three video wall mounted from the ceiling, it won't give you that in here, but by all means contact us, we'll tell you the parts you need.
because you definitely can do it. It's just, yeah, removing some of the, the, the gray areas from the solution. So, yeah, so the, the Pro-V Mount Advisor is an awesome tool to use. The product, the Vogel's website for Pro is the best thing to use. We don't put any of the Pro products on the Canome website. So for a CE and consumer, use the Canome website, but for Pro, use the Vogel's Pro website. They've got more information than we'll ever have on there. And you know, you can download DWG files, you can download product data. There's a whole heap of different solutions on there by the website. That's me, any questions? Excellent. Well, thank you very much for the time. I hope you all learnt a bit. Uh, our numbers are all, we'll give you all our numbers at the end, but feel free to come and have a look at all the brackets. I have brochures for you as well. You've all got pens now. Uh, any questions, shout out. If you, if you are someone connected, you, know, you do have most of the, a lot of the kits set up, actually probably so most of them have sold them, but we do have the independent individual numbers also telling the system as well. So sometimes when you're talking to the boys, they might be out of a particular item. So if you're asking for a kit, they might be out of the, the, the bar, for example. Just check, because you might be able to go to the next bar up. It still fits the TV. It just might be a little bit more expensive, but it gets the job done today, mm -hmm. not having to wait. So be prepared. It just means you go back to a simple component. And, and, and saying that, because yet again, extrude it aluminium, so just cut it on site. But then alternative to that, even if we don't have, say, a 3.3 .3 metre, you can actually join smaller ones together to get what you need. So there's, yet again, a variety of different ways we can get the product mounted. Excellent. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>